Hey YouTube! So, I've decided to start kind of a new segment thing called Cosplay Questions Answered. Every Monday I will release a video, or try my best to release a video, basically answering any questions you guys ask me about costuming, cosplay, conventions, crossplay, anything that comes to mind. Because I love answering you guys' questions and you come up with some really good ones and as much as I'd like to just, you know, individually answer the same question about a thousand times over, uh, I figure I'll just make a video and hopefully it'll work out and I'll answer some of you guys' questions. So I figured to start off this new kind of segment adventure thing, I'll answer two questions that I get asked the most often. Alright, so the number one question that I get asked the most is, how did you make your Romano curl? So the Romano curl that I have now is actually made using a technique that is kind of half experimental and half lots and lots of research. Um, basically what I found that works the best is taking a Julia wire, shaping it into the shape you want, and applying the hairs. Or the first time I did this was actually on my Miki wig for the antenna, and it's worked the best so far and has never fallen apart. So then I went and did this to my Romano wig that I got, and actually separate from the wig, it looks like this. Um, here's the part that's covered in hair, and then it kind of ends, and this is all wire. The Julia wire works the best, especially if it's kind of thicker like this for a thicker looking curl. But you want the jewelry wire because it's really bendable, bends easily, and you can shape it into whatever shape you want. How to get the hair to stay on here is the tricky part. Really, this sincerely only works if you have a really high quality wig fiber. So a cheap wig from Party City, it's just, it's not gonna work. But what I used is Mod Podge. Make sure it's clear drying. It has to be clear drying, otherwise you're gonna just have big chunks of glue on your head. So you take the Mod Podge, like this, and a clump of hair that you want to apply to your curl. Seriously, nothing bigger than a tiny little chunk, and you'll do this multiple times with different tiny little chunks. And make sure that the chunk is even enough, it's smooth, nothing's falling out. And you'll take this tiny little chunk, and some Mod Podge. Now what I did was basically dip my fingers in the Mod Podge, get it nice and sticky on your hands, and just kind of smooth it along the chunk of hair that you want. And you'll get it so that it's nice and coated on there so that all the fibers stay together. And it's kind of really messy, but... So all the fibers will stay together. And you'll just kind of keep applying really thin coats of Mod Podge like that. And it'll get really stiff. And you let that dry for a little bit. And basically, layer by layer, you just stick that on the curl. You just apply that on there like that, push it down very gently, and let it dry. You have to put them on layer by layer and very make sure that they dry in between layers. Otherwise, it's just going to end up like a big, big mess. So you really, really have to be patient with it. But hopefully, <laughs> that's helpful and you'll understand a little bit about how to assemble the curl. <laughs> and basically, once you have it, set like how you want it. Hopefully you left enough room at the bottom and basically you just curl this bottom part into a coil and twist that right into your wig where you want it. So hopefully that was helpful as far as wig curl making and now we'll move on to the second question. Okay so the second most asked question I get is how do you get your chest so flat when I'm cross-playing? Well, first off, let me point out that I don't really have very much to work with to begin with. So, <laughs> binding isn't really that difficult for me, but I do think that binding is really essential for cross-play. It's like my number one pet peeve is not binding, chest binding. Now, you can't complain. 
if you have a large chest because I have a friend that has D's, D cups, and she can get flat. Flat is all hell. So don't say, oh, my boobs are so big. Believe me, I know lots of big breasted women that can get ridiculously flat. Um, so what I use now is actually a binder. Looks like this. Um, it has a Velcro strap. So you can adjust the size, and it's actually really nice. Um, it's really easy to get in and out of. If I start getting uncomfortable, I can just detach the side, and it makes it really easy to breathe um, if I need a break. Before I got this, um, I just used the classic Ace Wrap. Um, Ace Wrap's really cheap. You can get it at any pharmacy, drugstore, Walmart. Personally, when I used Ace Bandage, you want to get it as thick, like thick as possible and as long as possible so you can wrap it around. Um, usually working from top to bottom, you want to cover at least this much area of your chest so that you can get all of this as flat as you possibly can. Um, but this binder works really well and I will put it on to show you. But before and after. As you can see, flat, and there's a cat. Very important. Um, so the Tea Kingdom binder works beautifully. You can't even really tell that I'm wearing a binder. Um, just really looks like an undershirt. Um, I will actually post a link to the Tea Kingdom website. Pew. On there they have a bunch of different binders uh, that all work, work really well. Some of them just look like like this one where it's just a velcro on the side. Some of them have zippers down the middle. Some of them go all the way down like a t-shirt but as you can see it works really well. So I really highly recommend it. The one that I have was about $40 so as you can see they're kind of expensive but obviously have a lot of reusability to them. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful, um, and if you have any questions for me that you want me to answer, just leave them in the comments below, or I answer lots of questions in my ask box on Tumblr. Hopefully I'll have some questions to answer for you guys next week.